good morning to you guys we have not picked up this camera in what feels like forever i know it's probably just been a couple weeks but it feels like a long time miss you guys um off work today so i decided to pick up the camera and yeah we'll see what this day brings i do have a few errands to run i need to go to our library and do a couple things um but yeah first i need to make the bed and excuse my hair you guys it's a little rough when you wake up and i didn't tie it down with anything so it's looking a little crazy but i'm gonna fix that in just a little bit here we did um put some color on it but we did not i wanted to do purple and pink purple at the top and pink tips but we did not have enough purple for my thick 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 hair so it's kind of splotchy with purple on the top. The pink did really good, though. We had tons of pink, and the tips did good, but the top part, I don't know. You'll see it later when I get it more together. But first, I need to make this bed. We like to make the bed every morning. I know a lot of people don't because they feel like they're going to get right back in it. But it kind of gives you like a little bit of accomplishment for the day, your first little thing that you accomplish when you wake up. And it looks nice. And I'm all about, you know, some organization and looking nice. So I need to finish making this bed and then I need some coffee. So that's what we're going to do right now. Alright guys, the bed is made, looking fabulous, organized, like we're ready to start the day. So now I'm ready for coffee. And they're doing something weird out here, I don't know, I just hear, hear a lot of banging. Oh, they're chopping down trees. So now I can make myself some coffee. Dee Dee is at work, but she will be home in like a few hours. She goes in at four in the morning. So she leaves here at like three something or three. I don't know. I'm usually asleep when she leaves. Um, normally I have to be at work at six, but today and tomorrow are my regular off days because I work on the weekend. So yeah. I'm gonna try and get some housework done for sure. I need to clean. For sure. I need to clean. Um, but I may do that tomorrow because I have a lot of other little errands to run today and I have some stuff I need to do on the computer for this channel and for some new good things that are happening. So I'm actually it's actually stuff I'm excited to do because it's something really good. So but we'll share that with you guys in our announcement video which is coming soon guys. I just I'm, have one more thing that's being worked on um, that I'm waiting on for that announcement video. And then we have like two or three really good announcements to share with you guys. So be looking out for that. Stay tuned for that. But in the meantime, yeah, I'm just gonna make me a cup of coffee and then I'm gonna, I guess I'm gonna get on the computer. And then I am going to do something to this wild hair of mine. And so that you guys can see the color a little better. Cause I don't know, maybe you can see a little bit of it of the purple right here and then the pink um but you can still see like some of the bleached parts because it was like a little kit and you had to bleach some of it so yeah when i get ready to do my hair i will pick the camera back up again so you guys can see how the color came out i don't know i've gotten a couple compliments on it even though it isn't like done done but 
I'm feeling a little weird about like the bleach parts, but I love, love, love the purple and pink. I'm not at all upset about the color. Like I love the color, love it. I don't know if you guys can see this lighting's pretty bad right now, but uh, yeah, there's the purple and then see the pink on the tips, but then see these little bleach spots. There's a few of them. Like if I take my hair down, there's more brighter spots, but hey, it is what it is. People do all kinds of funky things with their hair these days, so it is what it is. I'm not going to put any more color on it straight away. I'm going to wait probably like a month or so, and then we'll try it again, but not too bad, not too bad. So I'll catch up with you guys here in just a moment. You guys, I have such a love-hate relationship with this, um carrick machine that we have here it's like it plays favorites it doesn't like me very much like i don't know but today i was actually able to make a full cup of coffee because usually it doesn't even allow me to do that much it usually does like a half a cup of coffee or something i don't know it loves dd Dee Dee. whenever she makes me coffee it works perfectly so either i don't know what i'm doing or it just doesn't like me i don't know but does anybody else have any problems with their carrot machine? Because I, I really want a new one. I really do. I don't know. I think it just doesn't work properly. And I need it to work properly on every cup of coffee. But it's usually a struggle in the morning when I'm trying to use this machine. So, yeah. Comment down below if you guys have any issues with your carrot machine. It does this weird thing where it, like, spills the water out the bottom sometimes or most times for me but I don't know what the issue is so comment down below if you have Carrick issues I love the thought of the you know the idea of the Carrick you don't have to brew a whole pot of coffee but I need it to work guys I need it to work every time so yeah I just came back to say that okay I'm really gonna get to work now Okay guys, I'm back. I'm halfway, well I'm dressed. I'm not ready, but I'm halfway ready. Uh, I just got on a tank top and some jeans, which I can't, can't see right now. But I told you I would show you the rest of my hair once I got it finished. So I decided to uh, straighten it. This is about to be a task, I'm telling you right now. And I did finish all of my business work that I had to do here at home on the computer, but I've got a few errands that I need to run to get some stuff finished. Babe just walked in the door from work, so as soon as she gets herself together, then we will head out. But first, I've got to do something with this hair. And I feel like this is about to be a huge process, you guys. A really, really huge process. So, as you can see, the pink and then the purple, but see the bleach spots that I was telling you that didn't get covered by the purple, but like I said, it's all good. We'll go back over it in like a month or so. So, let's get this going. To straighten my hair, I use these ion um, flat irons. It also has been blow dry, which helps a lot when I'm trying to straighten it, so here we go.
Okay guys, this is probably as good as it's gonna get for right now. I'm not really going anywhere special, so it doesn't have to be perfect, but it looks better than it did, so that's what we're gonna go with. <laughs> Babe is in the bathroom getting dressed. I almost caught you on the camera. <laughs> Oh, you holding it in your hand? Yeah, it's in my hand. Alright. Alright, guys, so that's the result. I've got hair all over my face. But, this is what it looks like. So, in about a month or so, we'll add some more purple. Oh, sorry, I got hair everywhere on my face. But, we'll add some more purple in about a month. And see if we can brighten up that part of it put my spectacles on so I can see. Ah. Oof, there you have it guys. A quick straightening process. Which is why it's not like super straight because I was taking big chunks of it. Because really, it takes forever to straighten my hair and I usually let Dee Dee do that part so this was just a quick straightening since it was a big poof ball when I woke up this morning. But there you go. Oh, we have ran our errands, guys, and we star. Of yeah, course, you know our you know. So we decided to come to um, Texas, Texas Roadhouse. Roadhouse, and we're gonna. Our food just came, so we just wanted to hop in real quick. Delicious, delicious. So yeah, we're about to eat some country fried. Country fried chicken, right? Yeah. Country fried chicken, some mashed potatoes, and some green beans. We had um, some fried, fried pickles, pickles for an appetizer, but they were actually our good. food came so fast we really didn't even eat that many of the pickles, so those will probably go home more than likely. And then, yeah, Babe's having her a little adult beverage, and, and I scarfed down about four rolls. And I'm having a very delicious <laughs> cherry coke. So yeah, we're about to eat us some food. The green beans is good. I already, I already tasted them. Oh, they look good. I don't even have to. Mm -hmm. Like I knew. These potatoes is good too. We got the um, white gravy on the potatoes and the country fried chicken. You just ate the chicken. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah. All right, y'all. I'm gonna enjoy this meal here and then we'll holler back at you guys later. Bye.